So guys, the wait is finally over. The new game hub like D5 update is here, brought to us by the Emi Ready team. And trust me, this one's going to be powerful. In this video, I'll be reviewing the latest version and also showing you the best settings you can use to play AAA PC games smoothly on your Android device. First, for those who don't know, the older version of Game Hub Lite has been completely disconnected, its servers have officially been shut down. That means you'll need to install this new version to continue playing. The community didn't waste any time and released this update quickly to make sure players could keep enjoying their favorite PC titles on mobile without any interruptions. Now here's the important part, this release is still in early access. It restores most of the functionality from GameHub Lite v4, but the developers have clearly mentioned that they're still working on making it more stable and adding better long-term support. For now, this version includes nearly all the core features, but you might notice a few visual inconsistencies or missing extras like the news and free game sections that were part of e4. So without wasting any more time, let's dive straight into it and see what this new update has to offer. So guys, here we have a completely new version of the emulator, Game Hub Lite Ladashi APK. Take a look right here. This version is designed especially for devices where the WinLater Ladashi build delivers better performance. You can say it's mainly optimized for newer devices, but it also helps those that lack proper native driver support. Basically, this emulator provides that missing native layer, giving you a noticeable performance boost. Just keep in mind, since it pushes the hardware harder, your device may run slightly warmer than usual. Once you install it, make sure to enable DXPK with ARM64 ECA Sync, as that gives the best balance between speed and stability. Next, we have the Game Hub Lite and Tutor version, which is the regular and most common build. This one supports a wide range of devices, whether you're on MediaTek, Snapdragon 8 Elite, or practically any other chipset. So with that sorted, let's jump straight into the tutorial. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you find it helpful. Now, here's the official GitHub page for the new project. From this page, download and install Game Hub Lite v5, then open the app. As soon as you launch it, you'll see an option that says Add PC Games. Tap on it and select your desired PC games. Once added, the emulator will automatically detect your device in the game, then begin installing the appropriate drivers on its own. After the setup completes, simply tap the three-dot menu and open the PC settings to fine-tune your configuration for maximum performance. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you the best settings for this emulator, the ones that will let your games run at their full potential on your device. I'll start with the MediaTek devices, and after that, we'll move on to Snapdragon and Snapdragon 8 Elite settings. So once you're inside the emulator settings, the first thing you'll see is resolution. Set it to 960 by 544. This resolution gives a perfect balance between visual quality and performance. Next, head into the general settings section, keep everything there as it is. Don't change anything yet. Now scroll down to compatibility mode. The first step here is to select your compatibility driver. Choose Proton 10.0 ARM 64X2, as it works exceptionally well on Mali-based devices. After that, move down to the translation params section. You'll see two profile options, compatibility mode and performance mode. Both work fine depending on your game, but if you want to push performance even further, you can go with extreme mode for smoother results. Next, scroll down to the GPU driver option. Set this to system, since we're currently configuring for Mali devices. Then move down to the DXVK driver. For MediaTek, you can select either DXVK 1.10.3 or DXVK 1.7.3, both are stable and deliver great performance on these chipsets. Finally, leave all the remaining settings as default, the emulator will automatically optimize or update them as needed. Once you're done, simply launch your game, and that's it. Congratulations, your setup is now complete, and you're ready to experience your games running at their absolute best. Alright guys, now let's move on to the Snapdragon devices, including the powerful Snapdragon 8 Elite series. These settings are tuned to give you the best mix of raw performance and smooth gameplay. First, based on your device's capability, set your resolution accordingly. Since you're using a Snapdragon processor, Anything between 720p and 1080p will deliver excellent results without compromising on stability. Next, go to compatibility mode and select Proton 10.0 ARM64-2 as your compatibility driver. After that, scroll down to translation params and switch to extreme mode for maximum power. Also, make sure to enable the multi-threading option that appears here. This will help your Snapdragon chip utilize all cores effectively and give a major FPS boost. Now move to the GPU driver section. If you have a Snapdragon 8 Elite, Set it to system GPU driver for the most optimized performance. But if you're using a mid-range or older Snapdragon lineup, 
then choose the turnip driver, as it's better optimized for those devices. After that, scroll to the DXVK version. The latest DXVK 2.7.1 delivers the highest performance, though it supports fewer games. If you want a balance between compatibility and speed, go with DXVK 2.3.1 or 2.4.1, both are incredibly stable. For those who want to play DirectX 12 games, head to the DX12 option below and select Proton VKD 3D 2.1 4.1. This ensures smooth rendering and proper graphical output on newer Snapdragon chips. Leave all the remaining options at their default values. The emulator will automatically adjust and optimize them. Once you're done, your setup is complete. Congratulations guys, now you can play your favorite PC titles on GameHub like V5 with blazing speed and perfect stability. These are hands down the best settings for Snapdragon devices. If this video helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe, and now, it's time to jump into the gameplay, let's go!